Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's talk with local stocks as the Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,303.78 points, marking a decrease of 2.26 points below the previous closing. The fall was in the services, investment and industrial sectors and investors traded mainly in the investment sector, representing 48% of total shares. 56 equity transactions included 1,014,675 shares worth 195,747 Bahraini dinars. Based on official statistics showed that Bahrain will achieve financial savings as a result of reforms to support the energy sector during next year and will amount to 507 million dinars compared to 391 million dinars savings this year with the increase of 23%. These financial savings come as a result of the reorientation of support for revenue growth due to the sharp drop in oil prices. Data also showed that the increase in natural gas subsidies contributed to these savings by 49%, while the increase in subsidies on electricity and water contributed 25% of the total savings, followed by 11% increase in gasoline subsidies. And a new law enabling expats in Oman to own real estate is expected to bring substantial economic benefits to the Sultanate. Under a royal decree issued earlier this year, non-Omanis are permitted to own land and real estate units in designated areas known as integrated tourism complexes. The Sultanate announced plans last week to invest 10.39 billion U.S. dollars into developing more than 5,000 housing units for expats to purchase the five areas areas are Diyar Ras Al Had Resort, Omajan Project, Quriyat Integrated Project, Nasim Al Sabah Project, and Al Nakhil Project. Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi launched India's first bullet train project today in Modi's home state of Gujarat. The two leaders laid the foundation stone for the 500-kilometer-long high-speed rail link between the financial hub of Mumbai and the industrial city of Ahmedabad. Japan is providing 81% of the funding for $16.9 billion U.S. dollars project through a 50-year loan at 0.1% annual interest. Abe said his country would share its rail safety knowledge with India to help improve its railway services. Data released by the National Bureau of Statistics showed that China's economic performance was stable in August. The industrial production was stable and the added value by increased 6% year on year through the growth rate was 0.4 percentage points. Compared to July, the service industry grew fairly fast, with service production index increasing 8.3 percent. China's fixed asset investment grew 7.8 percent in the first eight months of this year, down 0.5 percentage points. China's retail sales of consumer goods grew 10.1 percent. The growth rate was 0.3 percentage points lower than last month. A senior European commissioner said a trade agreement with the post-Brexit is a priority for the EU and the UK will not have to wait in line behind others for talks to start. The EU has insisted that it will only begin negotiations, negotiations about future economic relations with Britain once enough progress has been achieved on divorce matters, namely the rights of citizens, a payment by Britain to the EU and on the Northern Ireland border. The EU in July struck a preliminary trade deal with Japan and is aiming to conclude talks with Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay by the end of the year. Papers which sometimes refers to some of us saying that the UK is uh, the last possible partner with whom we want to negotiate trade. Forget this nonsense. Okay. As soon as uh, we know when we start negotiating about the future arrangement, negotiations will start then. So there is no, from our side, there is no political priority that we want to keep UK as, a, as the last in row. So we have several negotiations going on in peril. So um, no need to, to, to provoke the situation anymore. It's, it's complicated even without this kind of announcement. And that's all for the business news for this evening. And it's back to you, Shadia. Thank you.